So we will be studying uh, so we will be uh, hello hello we will be studying r a k e uh, receiver uh, this is a wireless channel uh, propagation so it should face the multipath propagation so first uh, we learn what will happen in the transmitter side uh, versus and the channel and then the receiver side so in transmitter side, the uh, signal TT arrives and it has some delay spread. So delay, uh, which is tau one, to uh, delay uh, tau m. So these are the uh, multiple channels where the uh, and all these uh, passes through some channel gain G one T, and then gets a uh, summation uh, summed up as uh, we are considering it a single channel. So it gets trans uh, summed up. So here's two things are considered. One is. Um, One is the additive noise, which is the Gaussian noise, and the other is the multiple uh, access interference. And when these two gets combined, uh, we come to the receiver side and in the receiver side for RT, what is done? So this is the RAK receiver side, which we are talking about. We will have multiple correlators. So this is correlator uh, one. So one and dot, dot, dot to correlator M. And these will get propagated to a uh, weight of alpha 1 to alpha m and we will have z1 to zm and these will be summed up and these also uh, will be summed up and then z prime and they are integrated and then they are done some uh, thresholding and then we get the final signal which is m prime t so all the red red parts are rek receivers now what uh, what's the weight one the alpha m we have two definitions here one is z prime what what's z prime right so z prime as we can see this is summation obviously alpha uh, so the z1 is passed through alpha and all the uh, signals are individually summed up which gives us alpha 1 z1 and summation to m equal to 1 to m so this is one uh, m and this is one definition another definition is what's alpha m so these weights alpha m is the weights so weights are particularly defined as uh, the correlator weight for each one and our objective is to get the strongest path component from all the multiple paths we have. So uh, alpha M certainly is the weight, weight. so uh, it will be ZM square, which is this ZM square. And we sum up all the other components of M to M and these will be Zm square. So what we do, we uh, 
first get the square for individual and then we get the sum for all the individual components and we estimate alpha m thus we get the uh, weight multiplied for each receiver and by integrating and doing some uh, selective thresholds we get the final path component which is the solution for the multipath propagation received signal.